Oh, good. And Sarah, you probably remember us opening the doors, right? 2004. Yeah, of course I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what happened was, because um, we, we used to go to the Rangthorn Church, and then you, you opened the yoga space, but at that time, I had a back, bad back injury, so I was just, and I couldn't do the Ashtanga, I couldn't do the up and down sort of thing in the sun salutations and everything. So I was doing a little bit of Iyengar yoga elsewhere, but I did come in and, and see you um, just to have a look at it because um, I was gutted that I wasn't able to come to class sort of thing because of my back injury. So I did pop down and have a look and I, I was, uh, yeah, couldn't wait to get there. So, But luckily my back injury healed and uh, I was yeah. there. And uh, yeah, what, 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 what a huge part of my life really. So... Because right. I've been teaching since 2006. Mm. Um, and, you know, I think one of the, because I did a lot of cover for you in the start, because obviously I yeah, worked shifts yeah, and stuff at that yeah. time. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, eventually, when I had Molly, um, that gave me the opportunity to go part time and reduce some hours. Mm. And then I can't remember at what point. But it, can't, it must have been a year after she was born or something. Because I was teaching at David Lloyd on a Monday and Liz retired and you offered me her Mondays. Oh, yeah. And I think that's really when it all started to really take off for me at the yoga space. Because mm -hmm. um, I'd just done cover work before. So I was at your first class, Sarah. Because oh. um, <laughs> you were a lot more hardcore than Liz. And I think uh. we were all just like... <laughs> what are we gonna do <laughs> and but it was amazing because i i was thinking oh my word does she does she know that we we're not all like this hardcore <laughs> but then after a few weeks you just kind of we, we all just got into it because it and it was amazing and i honestly think that that was the point that my practice transformed yeah. and got a lot stronger because oh. you just worked us yeah. you worked us hard but it was so satisfying and just Oh, so good that's not to say yeah. this wasn't great it was just you had your own different style oh, and your own style. way of doing it and yeah it was amazing you took us on a journey oh that's nice to hear and, and what workshops monday evening thank you thank you what workshops do you remember sarah i loved david garriguez i loved david garriguez um i so he was amazing um and like Angela said Angela said just so vibrant and um almost he's a little bit odd in a way isn't he <laughs> but brilliant brilliantly odd very very into it yeah yeah I know what you mean. but I, I, in a good way I just, I just really um yeah I just thought it was amazing and I really liked him um and I've looked at doing some other stuff with him but of course now Covid's in that's all Bye yeah. bye. Um, I liked Tim Feldman as well. Really liked him. Oh, Tim was great was when he came. Yeah, really liked him. Yeah, um, yeah Manju was an experience, to, a good experience to have. Um, and of course, yeah, Durga is always brilliant. So I love Durga and her chanting. That's uh, one of a kind. <laughs> I've really missed chanting. Um, so, yeah. I tell you what I think about sometimes that American girl, Stephanie, who she Stephanie, yeah, she taught Ashtanga, but then she'd kind of start mixing it up, and it was like, oh, oh, she's mixing it up, and she I just thought she was amazing. She? Um, Do you remember when she was? Yeah, thin? she I was think really she massive. Sort of, yeah, I remember, I remember her. Yeah, teaching and, and then just really before she had the baby, fashion. she went back. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was, I uh, really liked her. She really, I think she opened my eyes a little bit to what else there was. Yeah. Or what yeah. else could be with the practice. So, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thought, think about her every now and again. Um, so, yeah, it's just been a huge part of my life, hasn't it, really? For a it long has. time. Yeah. Part, so of, since part, you of opened. The, part of the walls. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember Katinka's so, classes? Katinka's yeah, I loved Katinka's classes, yeah. yeah. Do loads on one leg and yeah. you thought your leg was going to fall off. <laughs> yeah. You'd be on one end. leg and you'd be like... <gasps> uh, yeah. <laughs> but then she'd yeah. always come and give you a nice little shoulder massage in Shavasana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, The reward after the hard work. Yeah, she was lovely. Mm. Yeah. I saw her actually. 
Oh, did you? Oh, yeah, she came over for a wedding. That I oh. Went to. It was nice. She's really looking good. But I did cover, I covered her class the week after she went, which was really challenging. <laughs> because it's like, all right, I'm not Katinka. <laughs> so I, I made everybody hold plank for five breaths. So in <laughs> honour of Katinka. Oh, yeah, she was great. Wow. What a journey! Like so many memories, yeah. so many memories, yeah. and so many like lovely teachers and students, and yeah, and we're still here. You know, we're still here, aren't we? We're hanging on in there. So quite yeah. a few people comment on the um on some of the yoga fest stuff that you posted saying. Uh, I used to come to the kids yoga and then I uh, came to classes when I was older and now I'm a teacher and it's oh. like you've literally guided people. <laughs> you've, you've, yeah. People have found their life path from coming to the yoga space, which is, yeah. wow, what an amazing impact to have on people's lives. It's amazing looking at the pictures and then, you know, really old photos and then saying, oh, they're still coming to classes, you know, like <laughs> seeing someone. Um, I saw someone the other day in a picture and I was like, Oh, he still comes to classes. It's like lovely. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's the power of yoga, though. You know, I think it's the power of yoga, and I guess, the, I guess as well, like the power of just being a teacher. You know, and kind of sharing your knowledge, and um, when people are really into something, and just kind of sharing your passion for it. You know, and people stay with you. Uh, yeah, I, think I think what we've got. Yeah. No, no, I was just thinking um, being a yoga teacher is a big responsibility, but it is a huge privilege as well. It is a privilege, yeah. Um, but and then being at the yoga space is just makes it extra special. So having taught at other places, it's kind of like there really isn't anywhere else quite like teaching yeah. at the yoga space. It's yeah, I do feel really lucky to be teaching at the yoga space. Mm. Oh, yeah. Thing. lots so of people inspiring. do say that but mm -hmm. they've been away and then they come back and they go i haven't been able to find anywhere like this and mm -hmm. it's just not the yeah. same <laughs> it's because i think it's all <clears throat> it's authentic you go to a lot of places and it feels more like it's just a fitness fad where people have gone to yoga that's the thing that you know people are into now whereas the yoga space is actually rooted in the tradition of yoga and it's not just about the you know the physical experience I think that's it you've got so many you offer so many different selections of teachers and styles and workshops that it it nurtures people it, it hold it, you, you you hold space in that true sense of the word that people can have their own experience without feeling like they have to fit into a box or look a certain way um people can just come and be themselves and not all teachers are for everyone but you there's such a wide variety that I think there's there's always something for everyone to like I, I hope so I think that's what I've tried to kind of hold close is the authenticity you know um, and teaching from a kind of very authentic place um, and just being honest with people as well I think when you teach you know um not trying to do something that you can't do yourself or you know that's not in your practice or that you don't like fully understand about so yeah I think that's important and I think that's what all you you lot do actually is you you were all kind of I guess you know teaching from a from an authentic place which is what makes a difference and I think people know don't they when you're being authentic or not um so couldn't really, couldn't really do anything else, to be honest. And I think as well, I think as well, um, yeah, we, we teach from the experience that we have, which is kind of what you've been saying, because I've been to some classes and it's it's called a shanga. Mm -hmm. And it just, she didn't know what she was doing. <laughs> she knew the postures, but she didn't know the sequence. No. And she just, it was just all, and I just thought it's just all, don't teach something if you don't know what it is. Do you know what I mean? Just like what you've said, really. But it's just we all we're all so experienced, and you can tell we all practice, mm. and we are all it's 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 a huge part of our lives, and it's yeah. it's embedded within us, and that comes out. It's not just a job; it's embedded within us. It's, it's part of who we are, and I think that that comes out in everybody. 
yeah yeah I agree I think because we're all different it's it's oh you've always got to nurture those differences as well because I think sometimes you you sometimes feel you have to be forced into a box or do something in a particular way and that can be really hard so it's nice to have a variety of teachers that say that might not work Sarah you're amazing at this well you're kind of like this doesn't work for me so I do this and you have had various injuries along the way and your honesty and the, the way that you can guide people from your own personal experience is really refreshing and you're not like oh look I can sit in Lotus and then stand on my head you're like yeah no that's not going to work for me and that in itself is really empowering that people can go oh it's not I'm not trying to achieve something it's not the posture that's the goal I'm actually here to just have a practice and to experience it and to let go of those things yeah. that we might think oh that's a problem with me and I'll never be able to do that and rather than getting hook up, hooked up on the things that maybe you, you can't do it's looking at what you can do and nurturing your body and not trying to yeah. force it and I think that, yeah. that that was one thing that I, yeah. I always loved about your classes yeah there's always a way, that's me saying, there's always that's a way. <laughs> yeah, 